What is up, YouTube? What is up? We're back for another ride along. Here we are, driving along to our destination just for you. I've got another fuzzy feeling inside me. I really do have a good feeling. I do have a good feeling about today. We're going local, but it's kind of not so local, but it is local. Mm. So we're going down to Port Kennedy. We're going down Port Kennedy. About a 25 minute drive, that's okay. Oh, more, yeah, 25 minutes. It's been about uh, two months since I've gone to these stores, and I go to these stores often as well, and I always find some good stuff there, so. Uh, we'll go here today, it's been a good couple of months, or a month and a half, so we'll go to that one. Uh, there's usually one Vinnie's there that I never go to, but I'll go in that one. I want to see how fucking overpriced and dog shit it is still. All right, are you feeling funny in the pants? I'm feeling funny in the pants. Let's see if we can get some bingo stuff today. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. It's right along, baby. Woo. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. My expectations are high. And my feelings will not be hurt if we have a dog shit day. But I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling the kitty, the kitty is looking out for me lately. So on the list in my head, we always have a list on our, in our head when we go out sourcing of what we want to find. I'm not too stressed if I don't find any jeans today. Um, I want to try and find some vintage shirts. I want to try and some footy jumpers. I want to find some footy jumpers. Uh, and I want to find some cool toys and maybe a game or two. So let's see how we go. They're on my wish list today All right, I'm not gonna fucking bore you like this is an episode of days of our lives because that shit is fucking boring So I'm not gonna fucking bore you with that shit But what I am gonna do is we're gonna source. We're gonna find some good shit. And we're gonna have a good time. So you ready? You ready? All right, I enjoy this salvos. This salvos is a pretty fucking sweet salvos. There's a Star Wars shirt. I've already found my vintage uh, Star Wars shirt. Uh, this is from the new movies. I think this is like a Kmart, <laughs> Kmart exclusive shirt. Uh, I'll take a pass. This could have been a vintage Star Wars shirt. I wasn't sure, but it was pretty beat up. Um, a lot of the threads will, uh, were popping out of it and all that shit. And, it was no good. It wasn't good. I actually wanted it for me, but uh, didn't bother with that. Uh, look at this. Ed Sheeran. Would you have picked up that Ed Sheeran shirt? Or would you have left it? I'm not going to say anything bad about Ed Sheeran. Don't fucking, don't worry. Uh, exterminate this Daleks t-shirt. I probably should have grabbed this. I didn't grab it. I've got a problem with... I will put stuff back on the rack... And I'll come back to it later. Uh, probably a big mistake, which I'm not going to do anymore. Um, I'm definitely not going to do anymore. I did the same with this Irish uh, Jamison's shirt. I love my Jamison's. I know it was just a plain shirt with a uh, Jamison's logo on it for four or five bucks, whatever the fuck it was. Uh, I should have grabbed it for me. Um, I should have grabbed it. And it was my size as well. Idiot. Fucking idiot. Uh, and I had the uh, intention of coming back for it if I didn't grab too much stuff, if I could afford it. I could have afforded it. I should have just put it in the basket and stopped being a dumb little prick and fucking grabbed that shit. But there's a little lesson uh, for everyone. Don't uh, chuck it in your basket. There's another Super Dad shirt. So someone's dad, once again, isn't Super Dad. Their kids have disowned him. They think he's a dickhead now. So they have to give that to the op shop. You're not Super Dad anymore. You're Dickhead Dad. Get on the shelf. Go to the op shop. That's someone else that's a super dad by it. Now here's a uh, here's a NFL jersey. Now I left this one on the shelf, uh, the Seahawks one. It looks very similar to the Seahawks one I own already that I brought from Bali. Uh, look, it may say Nike and it may have that little patch there, but don't be tricked. 
don't be tricked. Uh, see the little NFL um, logo there on the front V? That is sewn on, and it was uh, it was it was cotton. Usually with the um, NFL jerseys, from my experience, that they're like the logos are little plastic ones. So I left that. I wasn't going to be uh, sucked into that. I wanted to grab this. Uh, this was a cool purple Batman shirt. I've been seeing a lot of Batman and Star Wars stuff like lately, actually. But um, this was pretty sweet. Uh, but it had holes in it. I was a bit spewing. Um, I didn't want to grab it because it had holes in it. But that was actually fucking a real nice uh, pinkish purple uh, Batman shirt. So there's a hole there. Not happy about that. I've never seen one like that before. Have you seen that? Would you have grabbed that one with the hole in it? I definitely wasn't going to grab that. So we left that. There's a Pokemon shirt. Didn't grab that. This is uh, becoming... Uh, I like to show uh, not all the stuff that I grab. I like to always show the stuff that I put back just to see if anyone else would have picked it up. And the stuff that you can find in the Alp shops, because you will see, see what I grab on uh, Thursday's show and tell. Um, there's an Eagles uh, shirt. I didn't like the feel of the uh, material on this one. It felt very uh, moist. Um, very moist. And it was actually felt pretty gross. So I did put it in the basket and looked it up. I did put it back. But this is one that I did keep, and I'll show you on Thursday. Um, this Manchester United jersey. It was a legit jersey uh, with Rooney on the back of it. It felt nice as well. Um, I'm not sure uh, what year it is, but it's a not bad Manchester United shirt. It's only a medium, I'm pretty sure. But I should be able to get about 20 30 bucks for that uh, if anyone is Rooney fans. We go through all the dress shirts, and I find myself a RM Williams shirt. This was nine dollars. Would you have paid nine dollars for this one? It was in pretty damn good nick, pretty clean as well. Um, I can't remember. I think it was two XL. <coughs> I think it was two XL, but nine dollars. Uh, and shout out to uh, Brad Jazz and uh, Kara. Um, I used their ten dollar voucher I won earlier in the year for uh, just winning a prize and being fucking awesome. So I used their ten dollar salvo card. Had a little look through here, see if I can get any Bingo Kiss uh, albums. And uh, as soon as I saw Kamal, I got the fuck out of there because I knew it was all gonna be dog shit. Fuck that! It's always fucking Kamal. I tell you what, I'm gonna have to buy a Kamal. I'm gonna have to buy a Kamal record and smash it. I'm gonna have to buy it and smash it. <clears throat> the DVDs were pretty decently priced here, uh, but, 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 the box sets, they wanted $5, and I wasn't having it, I wasn't fucking having it, and I was out of there. So here I am dragging me little basket around, I know it's against my rules of grabbing a basket, but I grabbed a basket here. So, there's just a uh, bit that I didn't edit out, so you might as well have a little look at my ass there. So have a look at my ass. um... I don't know why I accidentally left this in, but why not? Let's just have a little look at my ass and my thongs and the back of my calves because, hey, sometimes you just need to see the back of someone's calves. And I left it in and I'm not going back to uh, re-edit it, so you're just going to have to have a little look at that uh, right there. But, hey, we're going moving on to the next bit. We're moving on to the next bit. So we go to the bed sheets. So we go to the bed sheets. And uh, I told you once, I'm not gonna fucking, I, I'm not gonna fucking tell you again. But looky what we have fucking got right meow. Look what we got right meow. Fucking what is that? Three bucks for a Goosebumps bed sheet Duna cover, and that will get me about fifty, sixty bucks. Fifty, sixty bucks right there. Thank you very much. Put that money in my hand. Thank you, a little man. So we'll go through these bed sheets and have a little look. And then I found this one. This one I can get about 30 bucks for. And I think it was 4 or $5. Came with a pillowcase as well. Uh, is this like a Pokemon? I, I never watched this. Um, I think a few of you guys would know. Um, this was in the uh, Pokemon era. Uh, back in Bakalaka. I don't even know how to fucking pronounce it. Anyway, whatever the fuck it is. It's... Uh, Pretty sweet. I'll show you properly on Thursday. There was a Transformers one, but it was not a vintage one. Uh, the 
the Backer Mucker one, whatever it was fucking called, uh, that was a 2008, I think it was, but this Transformers one wasn't worth grabbing. But like I said, fucking look through them. What, what are you doing with yourselves? Look at this. Found this. Uh, someone's given to the op shop uh, a wedding photo of themselves. And this is not one of the ones that, a genetic one that comes in the frame. This is some, that was someone's legit wedding photo. <laughs> they must have got a divorce. And the wife said, fuck it. I'm giving this shit away. Anyone else can have it because I don't want it. Alrighty. That was actually not too bad. I put a few things back. I didn't really have to look up too much stuff while I was in there. Kind of uh, freewheeling it lately. But uh, here we are at this shitty Vinnie's. This shitty Vinnie's, fuck me. This Vinnie's, I'm gonna come out empty handed. There's gonna be short footage in here, so let's get this over and done with. There's more chance the Gold Coast Suns winning fucking two games this year than fucking me finding something here in the Vinnie's, okay? Welcome to Vinnie's. Welcome to Vinnie's where prices are high Stock is low, and it smells like fucking dried up piss. Oh yeah, let's go to Vinny's. So it did actually stink in here. It did stink in here, but that's all right. We fucking went in because this Vinny shop today wasn't too bad. Would you have got this Peter Brock uh, shirt? Peter Brock 05. I left it. I couldn't find anything on comps really um, too much about it. But check this fucking kitty shirt. Meow's it going? <laughs> Meow's it fucking going? It's fucking meow's it going? It's fucking going good, buddy. Fucking thank you, kitty. I'll take that and I'll wear that in show and tell. That was a cool Batman shirt, but it wasn't vintage. It was your genetic uh, Kmart crap as per usual. But that's all right. We move on. We move on. The Vinny's today was actually pretty good. Does Is it just me or does everyone always see this buzzing fucking shirt at every... Uh, Op shop. I see it at every op shop. Buzzing. Uh, what's that from? Fucking. What's that nerdy show? Uh, How I Met Your Mother. Not How I Met Your Mother. Fuck. I can't even fucking think now. Uh, uh, don't even know. Anyway, um, Doctor Who shirt. Another one that I kind of looked up and I couldn't really find too much comps on. But now when I think about it a little bit more, I should have probably grabbed it because I still could have got twenty bucks for that. Um, and I couldn't find any that looked like that online. So I probably should have uh, grabbed that. And I didn't. So I put it in my basket. I didn't put it in my basket. I should have put it in my basket. Goosebumps books. They wanted $2 each for the Goosebumps books. Are you fucking shitting on my face and not even wiping it off? That is an insult. That is an insult. They should be 50 cents each. How am I supposed to make money? So these shoes. Would you have picked these shoes up? Now these Essex and the Nikes, the blue Nikes. These are the female shoes, $6 each. Pretty damn good price if you ask me. The blue ones did look like they had dog shit on the bottom of the soles. Uh, I'm gonna have to scrub that out if I picked them up. Did I pick them up? Hmm. You tell me in the comments, would you have picked them up and then you can see on Thursday if I picked them up or not. But uh, I had a little look for the ladies' jeans. Um, Pixie Thrifty, uh, Thrifty Pixie Cara told me uh, start off and look through women's jeans. So I have tried to look through the women's jeans. I still felt a little bit uncomfortable and I didn't find anything. And I hate it when they put the jeans on the side like that. But I didn't find anything. All right. This third one should be the last one. I'm pretty fucking happy with what I got so far. I'm not going to be a millionaire from it all, but enough to uh, be a happy chappy. And just in case you think, oh, this fucking prick, he fucking smokes in the car after he buys all these clothes and then sells them. Yeah, I fucking do. But I have all my uh, products that I buy wrapped up in fucking a bag and then a bag on top of it. They won't get no smell on it. They're all good. They're fine. So this next one's my favorite. This one, the next one's my favorite. Vinny's wasn't too bad at the end. Um, I've got a couple of things, but uh, uh, we'll see for Thursday's show and tell um, when I look up the prices, if any good. But when I had a look at comps for what I did get, uh, I was happy enough. I was happy enough. Did I get the shoes? <laughs> Tune in Thursday. 
So I love this good semi store. This good semi store is where I first discovered that Doctor Who DVDs were worth buying when I brought a shitload of them and then before I brought that big bulk load of them. So I'm happy with that. And I only ever looked through the clothes once here uh, when I got that Adelaide green Adelaide Crows uh, jersey, which still hasn't sold. Probably not many Adelaide Crows fans out there. Ooh. So yeah, um, that's when I was just looking for jerseys. So now I know I'm looking for, so I'm stoked to uh, look through this. All right, let's go on the good Sammies. Let's go on the good Sammies, good prices, good vibes, good people, good times, good times. So this really is my favorite uh, thrift shop. I really do think it's my favorite thrift shop. And I'm gonna break tradition. I'm gonna break tradition and I'm just grabbing baskets now. I don't care, I'm grabbing baskets. It's not bad luck anymore. I'm over that. So these DVDs were a dollar each, unless it was more than one disc, then it was a dollar a disc. Picked up this Family Guy one for four bucks. Believe it or not, it's the last one I needed to complete all 10 series, so season nine so that worked out pretty good and i've told you about bulking up tv series and just uh collecting them and holding them so i'll go through that on thursday with you about the tv series but um yeah all the other dvds in here there was a few other good ones but the scarves i was looking for the scarves uh, i found this 1995 west coast eagles uh scarf it uh pains me to have to grab eagle stuff but um, those fuckers will buy their merch, and it is a vintage one. It will go for about 40, 50 bucks, and I'm not going to lower my price. Those fuckers can pay for it. So if they want it, they can pay for it. So in, one dollar into my basket. Collingwood one, I left it. That was just uh, your normal uh, Collingwood one that um, you see all the time. wasn't an old school one. Uh, that was a cool Spider-Man fucking hat right there, but uh, I'm not going to bother with that shit. Probably should have brought it to wear myself. Would have been fucking pretty cool. Uh, and your neighbor, a friendly neighborhood uh, Spider-Man right there. DVDs are you are pretty cool. Another section of DVDs. And um, dollar each. Couldn't find too many. I was a bit of a dickhead what I did actually. And I fucking put some stuff. There's a Carlton Football Club one. I didn't grab that. Um, I put some stuff in the bottom of my... Uh, basket hoping uh, to look up comps on them and when I got to the checkout I forgot I hadn't looked up comps and I didn't want to look like a dickhead and say I didn't want this anymore so I grabbed them and uh, yeah you win some you lose some but it's all good but yeah they, they had an alright selection they had an alright selection so be careful with that don't forget to look up when you chuck shit in your basket I grabbed these Woolworths it was a massive bag I haven't counted them yet uh, I, I think there's over 50 or 60 or maybe even more um, of these uh, Marvel superhero um, discs. I did look these up already. I paid $3. I didn't look them up while I was in there, but I had a look when I got home just before I uh, started doing the voiceover for this, and I should get about 30 40 bucks for all these. Um, and I have sold these before, so look out for those. But if it's only 10 or 20 that's not worth it. If it's a big, massive fucking shitload of them, uh, grab them. People used to go nuts for those uh, Marvel things when they first came out. Same with the Lion King things and all that crap. So everyone thought they were worth heaps of money. They're not. They're not. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. There's a Richmond Tigers teddy. But uh, I didn't fucking pick that shit up. Looked uh, beat up as shit. So fuck that off. Yeah, but, uh, the toys were all pretty crap here today. But it doesn't mean it was a shit... Um shit place because look what I found. I found exactly the same Star Wars bed sheet that I found last week. That is three Star Wars bed sheets I have found now. Three Star Wars bed sheets. Get on to the Duna Cover bed sheet game. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth having a look at C-3PO. Oh, R2. So that's going in my basket. Already know that's a good one. Uh... Anyone that's a soccer fan, I didn't pick this up. Rangers Football Club. I couldn't find anything on comps uh, for Rangers Football Club bed sheets or anything like that. So I left that. But now when I think about it, it might have been rare. I don't know. There's a Superman one. I didn't bother getting that. I think that was from Superman Returns movie, uh, which was pretty crap. Uh, don't know why I didn't grab that. But, uh, you know, people make blinds out of um, these old Duna covers and all that as well for their kids. So 
if you have a kid, you can always make it like blinds and all that for the windows and all that shit for your kid's room. Uh, this shirt was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, it had no tag or anything to say what video game it was from, so I left it. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I wanted this Beatles shirt for myself. Hard days and night. Beatles are fucking one of the greatest bands ever. Uh, definitely in my top five. Now, uh, too many holes in it. There was heaps of holes in it. I didn't think they were allowed to sell shit with holes in it, but they obviously were. There was some more Batman stuff I quickly skimmed by. There's a Robbie Williams shirt. Would you have picked up that Robbie Williams shirt? I can't remember what album that was from. I think it was from an album that wasn't that uh, popular. So I didn't uh, grab that. Actually, to be honest, I didn't really even look it up. So, naughty me. But uh, that's alright. I like Robbie Williams. He's alright. He's got some good music. Another Star Wars shirt. Now, check that Darth Vader one out. Didn't even bother looking up comps for it because it looks fucking sweet. That is a really fucking cool shirt. Might be worth 20 bucks. Might be worth 50 bucks. Might be worth more. I have no idea, but I'll give you the hot tip. If that doesn't fucking sell, I'll be wearing that shit all day long. Uh, Return at the Last Jedi. I, I, I don't want that shit. Fuck that. We don't want that. And uh, we keep on going. Check this shirt out. Now, this shirt was cool, but I couldn't find anything on comps or anything at all. But it was just a spin-out shirt. Should I have grabbed that? The logos didn't say anything of who it was or what it was. Now, this Hawthorne, uh, Hawthorne Hawks shirt, this was one of those uh, first 18 vintage uh, ones. I didn't grab it because it was a bit faded in areas and it was a bit beat up. I don't know if it was because it was meant to be with the brown that was on it, but uh, some areas on it just didn't satisfy me. So would you have picked up that Hawthorne shirt for $5? I chucked it back just because I thought the condition wasn't that great. Always look through the kids ones. I thought I found a gold mine here. I thought I found a uh, Fitzroy Lions jersey, but it was just one of those uh, local team ones, but it was still pretty cool. But always look through your kids uh, sections. I didn't grab that shit. Um, always look through your kids sections just to find footy jumpers. I don't do it to find kids shirts, but there's a Docker shirt right here. Now this rack here was five items for $1. As you can see, the green on it is very, very faded. Um, and it has a little bit of a blood stain on it, but it's still the 2005-2006 Dockers jersey uh, official AFL one. No sponsor on it though. So um, I grabbed this for a dollar. I couldn't find five items, but it was a size medium. Uh, grabbed that for a dollar, and even with the bit of faded green uh, on it, um, it's a fucking sick jersey. I've got many of those jerseys, and uh, I'll get about 40 bucks from that. But if a fellow docker wants it a bit cheaper, I will give my fellow dockers a bargain and a half and I will give it to them cheaper because that's what we do. That's what we do for each other. That's what we do. Alrighty, that wasn't too bad, but not too great either. That was alright, I was pretty happy with that. Um, I don't know if I should call it a day or not. Or should I go to one more? All right, we'll do one more because whenever I think of not going to a certain shop, I always find something. Had an okay day so far. So uh, we're gonna hit one more up because I'm going to the shopping center in Rockingham anyway. So I'll hit that last one up and then we'll call it a day. I've got a okay feeling about that one, but so far what I've done is all right. Uh, yeah, show and tell is gonna be pretty fucking sweet, I think. Show and tell will be pretty sweet. But will the kitty add up? No. All right, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. There's the up shop. Oh. Cops are on the fucking prowl. All right. All right, I'll make this one quick. I don't like this store very much, but I found this Emu Bitter jumper. It was a button-up jumper. Five bucks. Would you have left this behind? Couldn't find too much on... Uh, I couldn't find anything of this jumper on uh, comps, but at the same time, it's a uh, beer jumper, and I think that it will uh, sell, so I looked that up. The DVDs here, dollar each. I did grab a... Go on, mate. Go on, you can... Good stuff. Yep, you're welcome. Um, you can... Uh, Grab some DVDs here for a buck each, and I found a couple of uh, ones. The box sets again, and the DVD, uh, DVD TV series, the fucking bastards. They wanted uh, 
five bucks, so I wasn't having it. I wasn't having it, so this was a pretty shit, pretty shit shop. From there, but I can't leave it at that. One more, because it wasn't that good. One more. One more. All right, definitely the last one, because I am knackered. I am fucking knackered. This is the St. Nicholas Op Shop. Is it open? Alright, this store... Uh, women would love this store. Women would love this store. A lot of female clothes, but I'm just still just not at that stage in my thrifting career yet. But, uh, so I bypassed all that shit. People think I'm a weird little prick fucking looking through it as well, so I just I, I just still can't do it, especially with the camera on here. They're like, what the fuck is this prick doing? Is he trying to look for panties or something so we can take him home and sniff him? Or does he want to see what dress he wants to fucking uh, wear when he gets home and, and prance around? There was a Star Wars box set. Um, I think they wanted about fucking eight bucks for that, so I've got enough Star Wars videos ready to list. Uh, I had a whole heap of videos here. I think they wanted a buck a piece. And there was nothing in there that tickled my fancy. So nothing that made me uh, jump up and say yippity doo da. So wasn't having it. This store was pretty fucking craptacular. And I brought fucking nothing. I brought nothing. This was my last thrift shop. And I brought fucking nothing. I hate ending with buying nothing. But uh, it's what happens. It's fucking what happens. It was my fucking... I was out of there. Out of there. Well, that last one was absolute fucking dog shit. I'm not going back there again. I'm done with that. I'm done with that one. I think it's been a pretty damn good day, and I think I need to treat myself with a little bit of deliciousness. Like I always say, we've got many choices in life. I don't know what I'm going to go with. Macca's KFC, Red Rooster, Hungry Jacks. There's so many options. So that's been right along. That was five thrift shops in five hours. I am knackered. I am hungry. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. <sighs> Man. I think these are a lot starting to become like... Uh, I like showing you what I didn't pick up because you see what I really pick up anyway on, uh, on show and tell. But I like showing and asking, was I stupid and was I a dickhead? Was I a fucking dickhead for putting it back or not getting it? So it's always good. I like showing that as well. So I hope you enjoy that. I think I'm a bit burnt out with... Uh, I've gone hard with looking at clothes lately. Uh, last fair few weeks now. And stuff like that at uh, thrift shops. Not that I haven't been finding anything, but... I uh, think it's time to go back to the old fucking markets. So I think a couple of weeks... I I'm going to try if I can get up in the morning to do a couple of weeks in a row of the markets. But 100% next episode is going to be the markets. I'm going to do the markets again. I want to start getting some toys and games uh, and all that. Because that's what you find at the markets. You find um, some crazy stuff. Alright guys, don't forget to click, like, subscribe, or do whatever the fuck you want. Because it is your life and I'm not going to tell you what to do. But a subscribe would be fucking handy. I'm out of here guys, I got the good old Red Rooster, probably one of the best takeaways that you can get here in Western Australia, I love Red Rooster. Alright guys, have a fucking good one, I'll see you for show and tell Thursday, see you! Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day.